Hey Libras, Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for you guys for this week in May. I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, check your birth charts if this does not resonate for you guys. Uh, these are general readings. Love readings can also resonate for the workplace, family situations, friendships, or any other relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love reading, okay? Um, also, you guys can contact me for personal readings. That's in my description box below down there. Keep in mind that energy can be reversed in your situations. Also, time is fluid, okay? Let's see what's going on with Libra for this week in May. What's going on with Libra for this week in May? What's going on with Libra spirit this week in May? Libra, please, for this week in May. Alright, so we have happy family here. I was getting a vibe of someone thinking about you. Yeah, we have anxiety here. Oh, and a thinking woman. Alright, so, yeah, I feel like someone here is thinking about you. Um, I'm getting feminine energy, but I'm also getting a masculine energy thinking about you too, Libra. So let's see how this goes. Alright, so we have appreciation here with community. All right, so it seems like you get a lot of attention from the community. A lot of people respect you right now, um, Libra. A lot of people um, want to be around you. Someone sees you as that person that wants that can actually balance, you know, life with other people and life at home, right? We have this seat here at the bottom. Yeah, I was getting an, another party here. Um, thinking heavily about the situation and having anxiety about it. Now... I'm just getting a female energy with that deceit, but I'm getting that some there's a female energy that looks at, looks at you in a deceiving way because of how much attention that you get right now, Libra. What else for Libra and May? Yeah, look, hostilities. Someone does not like that you have a happy family with someone here, Libra. And then at the bottom we have the sacral chakra. Someone feels like they should act now about something or come towards someone now. It's like that anxiety feeling. Someone here wants to like, I don't, I don't mean to say this in a bad way, but because it might not be um, as serious for most, um, but this person here maybe wants to attack you. I hope it's not attack you. But someone here wants is acting out of anger or anxiety or they're just jealous, okay? Clarify uh, happy family, please. Yeah, okay. So we have Ace of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could have Earth in your chart right now, Libra. Or um, someone around you could. But then we have this external party with the masculine. All right, Libra. So it seems like if you're dealing with a masculine here, it seems like he deals with other people or it's like this vibe where other people try to deal with him or try to speak to him right why is appreciation here for libra why is this here for libra why is appreciation here for libra someone rising in venus signs all right so we have thoughts isolating so yeah someone is like it, like they can't get you off their mind okay and then we have spark renewal here at the bottom. So it's like someone wants to start something brand new with you. I'm getting like someone hasn't seen you in a long time. Okay, someone is witnessing you have a happy family and they're just not happy about that. Okay, clarify community, please, for Libra. Community for Libra. Someone rising in Venus sign. Community for Libra. Okay, so we have Autumn Harvest, who also wanted to come out was Alchemy, Ancestor Guides. So it's like something that you um, already started here. I feel like you're the type of person to like be very focused on um, your spiritual side. You isolate yourself a lot too, Libra, is what I'm getting. Um, this person can't catch you. This person can't find you. Yeah, we have Surrender Your Release. I feel like you release the situation. Here, you're just letting spirit do what they do. You're, you're sitting here enjoying your harvest, or you're sitting here watching something 
grow. And then we also have community here. So it's like you're involving yourself in the community. You're the type of person to involve yourself in the community and then you disappear really quick. It's like you do your work. You do the thing that people see you for and then you disappear. All right. Hostilities here for Libra. Hostilities for Libra. And I think that kind of, kind of bothers somebody here. Yeah, we have lack, doubts. Someone here is, um, they could be financially struggling here, but I'm also getting like, someone here doesn't think highly of themselves. What else for Libra? Why is that here for Libra? Yeah, all right, so we have epiphany and breakthrough. You're having a breakthrough. And then we have North No Cosmic Purpose. You're following your purpose. All right. So I feel like someone here like wants to come after you. Yeah, spying on you. What's going on here? Clarify breakthrough, please, for Libra. Who is this person? Clarify breakthrough for Libra. It could be an earth sign watching you. Yeah, we have family, home, and commitment. Someone here is really jealous about whatever type of family situation that you have going on right now, Libra. Yeah, toxicity. This person... Oh, you're, you're basically, yeah, you're basically showing this person self-worth, but this person is jealous of you and I'm getting a feminine energy. I'm not really getting masculine. I mean, I was feeling it, but I, I feel like there's a feminine here. All right. So let's see what's going on because there's some sort of like change that's been happening. I feel like you distance yourself. This person is jealous that you get attention from the community in some way, shape, or form. However, that may resonate for you, okay? Let's see. Libra. Libra. Or or maybe the community just, you know, has their eye on you. Maybe you're not necessarily even doing anything, Libra. But someone is jealous of it. What's going on with Libra for this week in May? going on with Libra for this week in May, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Hangman, the Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Knight of Cups. Be careful with this person. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Or someone with fire in their chart. I feel like you're very emotionally stable and you're also um, financially stable here. Someone feels outcasted from a family. That's what I'm getting here. Like someone feels outcasted from a family or they feel like it's like they're witnessing you have a family here or something. Someone may try to sabotage something. Someone is like hiding. Someone is hiding here, Libra. And they want to delay your happiness or delay something for you. Clarify this Queen of Cups, please, for Libra. Who is this? Yeah, the Queen of Wands here. All right, with the Lovers and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to be. But I feel like um, you're very bold and confident. Someone sees you as very attractive here. Um, you're getting Karmic Justice here with the lovers here it's like you're getting you're getting good luck and fortune coming your way yeah we have the ace of swords here someone here wants to tell you a truth and the truth is that you know they choose you okay that's their that's their clarity that they want to give to you that they want to make that clear to you here libra tell me about the ten of pentacles please for libra there's a knight of wands again with the hermit okay yeah, and then we have the Knight of Swords here. So I feel like this person sees that you have like a legacy or some sort of commitment or I'm, I'm getting with the Ten of Pentacles that it's more like your thing, right? You have something that's going on and it's your thing. This person is running in and out, ghosting you, and it doesn't necessarily make you, it, it doesn't, there could have been an argument. But someone has to, someone is trying to hurry up and rush in and say something or hurry up and rush in and do something. Clarify this hermit here for Libra. Could we deal with a Virgo? 
Yeah, we have this five of swords here. Someone's doing something petty. So someone could either, okay, they like to do things like come in and say something to you and then leave. This might be a different person. Someone here is not too happy that they're outcasted. Someone here is, yeah, so, okay. I feel like someone here, there's a third party, or just someone here on the outskirts, right, uh, Libra, and they're angry that they are outcasted. They're angry that they got ghosted by someone. It could be your masculine, right, or your feminine, however it may resonate for you. Clarify, um... So they're going to try to do something here. And it's going to be petty. It's going to be to sabotage something. It's not going to be, you know... Because you have good luck and fortune. You have a lover's situation here. Someone here actually chooses you. Someone here actually has feelings for you. And someone could be jealous about that. Okay. Clarify the hermit, please, for Virgo. Or, I'm sorry. Clarify the hermit, please, for Libra. Someone rising. And Venus signs. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles again with the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles here. So it seems like something here is going to be stable that you're going to be getting, something new. I feel like you're, okay, so remember what I said in the beginning that it seems like you do something and then you disappear? I feel like you're disappearing to something stable that you have, something that gives you self-discipline, something that you can't have, you can't have people around you messing with it, and it's, it's like a blessing. It's like you're protecting your blessing here. I feel like you went deep within about your finances and you're just like, you're trying to build up your finances. I heard something about building credit too uh, for you, Libra. And it's like you're going, it's like you're becoming enlightened about everything. This person doesn't like that you ghosted them or that someone ghosted them for you. So take that how it resonates, okay? It could be like both situations going on. Maybe you ghosted somebody and they're not too happy, so then they go to their person, and now their person isn't happy. But I'm really getting like someone is like hostile about everything. It's like they're on their toes. It's like they can't sit still. It's like they have a lot of things to do, and it has a lot to do with sabotaging you. Clarify the hangman, please, for Libra. Why is the hangman here for Libra? Yeah. Okay, so we have strength here with the four of pentacles and the three of swords. All right, so I feel like there's some holding back going on. Is delaying things. Hold on. Why is the three of swords? I'm sorry, the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here for Libra? Someone's holding back. All right, so the four of swords. Someone's holding back so that they can heal their heart here. They have a lot of strength and courage. I'm also getting the energy of you know, holding your money back again. Um... I'm getting that you're really enlightened about, you know, maybe ha what had happened. Maybe you experienced some some pain here, Libra. Or I feel like this person is experiencing pain and they're holding back from you. Um, someone realized that they held back from you and, and hurt your feelings or something like that. And they want to heal that. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. I'm also seeing Virgo and Cancer and Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Wands, please, for Libra. And we have the Sun again, Leo energy again, with the Ace of Cups here and the Six of Pentacles. So, okay, here's what I'm getting here. With the Knight of Wands, I feel like someone is rushing towards you, right? They rush towards you because they see you as happiness. And they could be younger than you. Someone could be trying to stop this person from coming towards you. Six of Pentacles, please. Four, Libra. All right, so the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, like someone wants to work with you, come together with you, share with you, express something to you, have fun with you, Nine of Cups. You're their wish fulfillment. It would be like, they would be happy to work with you with the Sun and the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, for Libra. Seven of Swords for Libra. Why is this here? Page of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands here. 
with the three of wands. All right, so here's what I'm getting. For some of you, this person is going to apologize because um, that's just how they're going to sabotage things because I feel like this person is a burden in some way, shape, or form to you. And it's like, yeah, I feel like this person is juggling money here with the two of pentacles here. And, okay, someone may be trying to commit to you for money, okay, or they're juggling a commitment. Take that how it resonates. Okay, so we have the six of cups here. Something about their past. They realize something about their past and they're no longer dealing with something from their past. But I'm also getting like, it's like they're kind of juggling it. They could, they could have children, yeah. Okay, yeah, see, we have the moon and the seven of swords. Okay, so this person is coming towards you because you're really attractive. Things are going in your favor right now. Someone here wants to sabotage this. I'm also, yes, getting the third party situation. Yeah, there's some manipulation going on. So here's what I'm getting. I'm hearing two stories. Either one or two things. Either your masculine is deceptive with the moon and the seven of swords. Or that third party is deceptive and they're going to try to do something here. They're doing something behind the scenes, like some someone is hiding. I keep getting the energy of someone hiding. But it'll come out. We have the moon and the sun here. Things will be revealed. Things are going to come out about a third party. I just feel like you're just to yourself right now. I feel like you're in this happy-go-lucky mood right now, and you're just not, maybe you're just not seeing it. <clears throat> But someone here is going to, <clears throat> excuse me, someone here is going to uh, make an offer. But just watch. It may be illusions. Okay. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? They might try to communicate with you to manipulate the situation. Because in the beginning of the reading, Libra, I felt like... Like you were really moving into something happy here. And someone wasn't so happy that you were moving into that. So it could be your ex or it could be their ex. Alright, so we have you're very close to achieving your goal. Alright, what else for Libra? So whatever you're working on, it's working out for you. So keep going. And then we have you and your loved ones are safe. So you're protected throughout all of this. I feel like you're protected throughout all of this. None of this is going to touch you. I just feel like this person likes to work around you. I don't know why. And I don't know who this person is exactly. I don't know if it's your masculine or someone behind your masculine's back. It could be that. Because I really feel like someone has feelings for you here. Let me get one more for Libra. Let me get one more for Libra. Alright, so we have step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. Oh, I so I feel like your masculine is going to step out of his comfort zone and come towards you. Because there has to be something that, you know, this, per this person is drawn to you here. Okay, so we have expect powerful change. A new romantic cycle begins. And bring love into the situation. See? This person does have feelings for you. Your masculine does. But I feel like there's some deceptive things going on behind the scenes. So watch this. I feel like you're getting a lot of financial abundance here, too. You're getting a lot of blessings here, so I feel like you're not really paying attention to it. But at the same time, you know, um, use your intuition, yeah, with the moon card here, to know exactly what's going on in the situation. All right, Libra, that was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.